hello. We are gonna start in some minutes, okay? I'm just waiting for more viewers to connect. Hello, everybody. Uh, I guess that you can hear me properly. I'm gonna raise my volume here. Hello, hello. It's a pleasure to see you all. I'm going to wait until 2.30 so we can get started with this excellent presentation that I have planned for you guys. Welcome, everybody. All right, we're about to start. Hold on one second, I'm getting everything ready. With this beautiful presentation called Becoming a Gaming Streamer. Welcome everybody. Okay, it's 2.30 already. How many people do I have connected here? Okay, we have five people connected so far. Welcome everybody. We are about to start. Uh, well, this is uh, tomorrow's date because, you know, this is an event that we're going to present tomorrow. I'm going to lower the volume of the music so you can hear me properly. Okay, maybe we can have it as a as a background music. Okay, there. I guess we can wait a couple of minutes, like two more minutes, so we can have more people connected in this beautiful presentation that I have planned for you today. Today we're here sponsored by Centro Académico Colombiano Eurocenters that invite me to present these beautiful um, slides about how to become a gaming streamer. All right, so welcome everybody. It's nice to see you here. Remember that you have the chat box right there. So you can leave me a comment. You can say hello. You can, you know, wish me luck in this presentation um, so yes basically uh, we're here i am here to tell you a little bit about uh, you know all the streaming platforms everything that you can do how to choose or how to prepare yourself if you want to choose this as a career so you know it's it's kind of an interesting um presentation that we have prepared for, uh, for you today and i guess we can get started right now okay so yeah welcome to becoming a gaming streamer by andres mora my name is andres mora and today we're going to follow uh, these objectives that i have planned for you first we're going to recognize what game streaming is after that, we're going to know everything you need before you start streaming. 
and then you're gonna get some recommendations and tips when streaming okay but before I start the presentation I would like to tell you a little bit about me my name is Andres Mora I am 28 years old uh, I am located in the city of Barranquilla I am a foreign languages teacher I work currently in an institution in a school uh, in Barranquilla it's a public school I work there in the mornings and I also work for other institutions such as Universidad del Norte um, and yes I work there on Saturdays and you know on my free time in the afternoon I have also worked uh, at Colombo Americano and other and many other uh, you know English teaching institutions and centers and uh, well I am a gamer since I have memory when I was you know a, a little child I started playing Super Nintendo back then, like in the 90s, uh, the game that I remember when I was a child uh, was Super Mario, Super Mario World, it's a game for Nintendo, and some other games such as Donkey Kong and things like that. Um, yeah, basically I love Nintendo games, I have a Nintendo Switch as well. And I also la like Xbox games. Back in the day, I used to have an Xbox 360 that I used to love. Um, and, you know, I, right now I don't have a, any, or any different console like an Xbox. I just have a Nintendo Switch. But I have a gaming PC where I usually play all time. Um, so yes, that's a little bit about me. I have been interested in video games since I was a little kid. I have oh, I have always enjoyed video games during my whole life. Uh, it's it's my hobby. It's my hobby. I have to say that is my hobby. And I've been trying to use this hobby to get money as well because you can become you can make this a job. And this is what I'm going to explain to you today. Um, well, this is a little bit about me. This is a picture about me. Uh, you can find me on Facebook Gaming as Memo Sensei Games. This is a little bit of my website uh, there. I'm just starting, so I don't have that many followers. Uh, yes, this is basically the gaming console that I started to play with with my sisters when we were like, you know, eight years old, 10 years old, we were little child, children. And okay, this, uh, it's part of what I do. I uh, stream games sometimes. It is not my job, I have to say this. I don't take this seriously because I have another job which is, you know, teach English all the time. Uh, but you know I take this as a hobby but if you take this seriously you can you know you can make this a job and you can you know get serious and you can get a lot of money and this is a little bit about I'm going to explain today okay first of all we're gonna start with what is game streaming a streaming a game means that you broadcast yourself via internet so you can so your friends and viewers out there can see you or can watch you on their computer on their phone or or the, or or game consoles the most popular services out there right now are called twitch which is you know the biggest platform out there and i'm going to talk about twitch in a few minutes we got YouTube and Facebook. There are others, but these are the three that are the most important uh, right now. A streaming is different from making videos. It's not the same to make a video to, you know, um, be online or be live. Because if you make a video and then you upload it, you have the time to edit it if you didn't like one part. If you commit a mistake, you can edit all that stuff. But if you are online, if you are live, it's going to be a little more difficult because 
you cannot commit that many mistakes and you have to be attentive to not commit any errors while you are online okay so look at the difference you know making a video is so different to be online you know you will have sounds out there from you know the the noises you're going to have interruptions you're going to have different things that may affect your streaming so you have to be very careful w um, about the time you stream about you know the the hour of the day and you have to make sure that you have you know a clean area so people do not see any mess um you know behind you and things like that Is streaming a good career? Well, it depends. It depends. I have to tell you the truth. It depends because it is not easy at all. But if you become successful in this, you can get a lot of money from this. Um, if you enjoy interacting with other people, entertaining others and having a flexible schedule, then yes, streaming can be a great option for you or a great career for you uh, because you have to have a lot of charisma. You have to make your users or your viewers or your spectators, you know, distracted, feel okay with you, feel, you know, interested about your, um, your content. That's very important. Uh, however, you should know that unless you have built up an audience on another platform that will follow you over to your live streaming platform, it will take you some time before you will make enough money to consider streaming your career. Uh, when you start streaming, you usually tell your friends about this, like, hey, I am streaming games. Do you want, do you want to check out my stream? Or you just, you know, give away your link and you ask your friends to follow you. So when you're starting, it's not going to be that easy because you're gonna have a, a little amount of followers, like five, six followers, and not all the people are going to watch your life while you're connected. So when you're beginning, the beginning is very important because uh, you're not gonna have that many users, that many viewers, that many spectators on your channel. But the idea is that you don't give up, okay? You have to be constant on what you're doing. And after day by day, you know, day by day, uh, your streaming will become better, uh, you know, you're going to catch the attention of more viewers. And that is the idea. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to get money or how do, how do these platforms pay you for doing what you do. On Facebook, they have a system that they call the stars. With these stars, uh, you know, people buy the stars. Here you have an example of you know the cost of the stars like 95 stars cost $1.99 250 stars uh, $4.99 etc etc right so the idea is that people buy stars and they give you stars during your life and when it comes to twitch they have two systems they have the subscriptions uh, from you know from your viewers and they have the bit the bits work just like the stars from facebook and the subscription, you know, people subscribe to your to your channel, and you and they are gonna have, you know, a special, um, for example, a special benefits, for example, ad free viewing, uh, badges, emoticons, and things like that. Okay, let's continue. What are you going to need when it comes to when it comes to streaming? You're going to need first a very powerful PC that people mostly call them gaming PCs. But basically, these are, you know, PCs that have like 16 gigabytes of RAM. They have a good processor and they have a video card, which is very important. The video card is the, you know, the component on the PC that allows you to play games on a PC, right? It is in charge of the graphics and everything 
that the games nowadays require. After that, you're going to need a broadcasting software. And the most popular ones right now are called OBS. And also the other one is called Streamlabs. Streamlabs is this one right here. And this one is OBS. Another thing that you're going to need is a camera, a good camera, so people can see you just like the one I'm, I'm using right now. And also you're going to need some headsets, you know, for, uh, you know, listen to your games, listen to, you know, the enemies where you, when you're playing and things like that. Also, more than one screen is recommendable. Right now, I'm using one screen that is right here, as you can, the one that you see me right here. And I have another screen right here, where is where I see, you know, the comments of the spectators. And for example, I can say here that uh, Luis Montes is watching me, that Salvo Farello is watching me right now because I can see the comments through the second screen that I have right here. And the principal or the main, um, the main screen is the one that I'm going to use for the video games. So this one is going to be for the video games and the other one is going to be for me to check out all the comments, all the people, you know, interacting, giving likes, sharing my life. Um, sending me emoticons and sending me the stars, for example, if I have um, or if I would have, you know, people that would like to collaborate or to support me on my lives. You know, people usually give you stars or give you bits if you are working with Twitch. Another thing that you're going to need is, well, it's not it's not that, you know, necessary, but when it comes to, you know, decoration, itself rgb lining is something that is very important uh, if you are if you want to be more professional it is also recommendable that you have a green screen a green screen is something that you put behind you if you want to modify the background from your from your videos or from your camera it makes your it makes you it makes look your lives more professional and finally, a mouse and a keyboard, because some people used to play with a mouse and a keyboard, and some people play with a controller. So, whichever you feel better, if you play with a mouse or a keyboard, that's good. Or if you play with a controller, that's good as well. So, it depends on the person. If the person plays with a mouse and a keyboard, or the person plays with a controller, that's optional. All right, now we're going to talk about the streaming platforms. And, uh, you know, the most popular ones out there right now are Twitch. As you can see, most of this circle is purple, which is um, the color of Twitch. It is purple. It gets uh, from 69 to 72 percent of the whole market when it comes to streaming platforms. Um. Then we have YouTube with the 13% of the market. This was in 2021 and this is in the current year, 2022. After that, we got, YouTube, we got Facebook, excuse me, we got, you, we got Facebook with 9% of the market. Then we got some other platforms such as Africa TV, which is a Korean platform. We got Trovo, which is uh, another company that is, you know, kind of starting in the market. And then we got others. So remember, Twitch is the most famous um, online streaming platform right now. After that, we get YouTube. After that, we get Facebook. And then we got others. My personal recommendation for you guys is, you know, Everybody would like to go on Twitch, but Twitch is not a good option. It's not a good option if you are a beginner. I always try to recommend, you know, people that ask me to start on YouTube or Facebook. In my case, I used to, uh, you know, go online or stream on Twitch, and I didn't have any viewers like 
or I used to have like one or two. So on Facebook, you can, you know, because Facebook, when, on Facebook, you have your friends and it's easier for you to share your lives. So for that reason, I try to always recommend more Facebook or YouTube if you are a beginner. All right, let's move on. Right now, we're going to talk about the most famous streamers. And I wanted to bring a top 10 most famous streamers today. On the first place, we got Ninja, and he has 18.3 million followers. And he plays Fortnite and he plays League of Legends. After that, oh, Ninja speaks English, by the way, and he has a, a very successful career. And that is basically his job. That's everything that he does. And he used to have a contract with Mixer, which is a platform that no longer exists. But now they, he's still working with Twitch. They, they have a contract and everything, and it's very, it's very serious. And he gets lots of money. And then we got Aaron Play, which is a person that is loved by everyone. He's from Spain. Everybody knows Aaron Play. You have a lot of videos out there from him. He's very funny. And he plays Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto V, various games. Sometimes he just chat. Sometimes he just reacts to videos. And I really like him. He's a he's kind of a cool guy. And then we got Rubius, which is, he is also from Spain. And we got Ibai, that he is also from Spain. These are like the, you know, the, the four, the top four that I wanted to, you know, the, to bring about today. Then we got some others on the top five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, it's time to move on. Right now, I'm going to talk about some top games and streams so far. You have tons of games out there, but the most popular ones are Call of Duty Warzone. You also have League of Legends, which is a game that has been there, you know, a lot of time. You got Fortnite, and that yes, has a lot of years. It released like in 2017 or something like that with a lot of content they have you know a lot of skins and you know they change the game and you know they do different stuff to always uh, attract people then we got minecraft which is one of the uh, biggest game in the industry it's a game from xbox then you got free fire that people love to play on on the cell phone usually my students if there are some students listening to me out there oh my god free fire they are crazy about this game then we got fall guys which is a game in which you have to survive to different you know contests and things like that then we got fifa which is a sports game you got all the versions from fifa from the 2000s until, you know, 2022 versions. Uh, it's always kind of the same game, but, you know, they update uh, their playability and things like that. Then we got Valorant, which is a competitive game where people, you know, kill each other. Then we got Overwatch, which is something very similar. And the ones that I'm going to mention are not games, but, you know, you can stream about this. The first category is, gonna, is called just chatting. Well, people just, you know, uh, chat with the, with the spectators and things like that. They just, you know, react to videos. They talk about different topics. Then we got the ASMR, which is, you know, a person in front of, of a microphone doing different sounds that people tend to feel, you know, comfortable or feel relaxed by listening to these different sounds. Then we got Mortal Kombat, which is a fighting game. Then we got GTA 5, which is a game where you can do whatever you want to. You can even go you can even be a good person or a bad person. That depends on you. They have a lot of missions and things to do. 
among others. There are tons of games out there, but I would I wanted to bring you the most important ones. Okay. Now I'm gonna come up with the final thoughts and tips when you are you know streaming online. The first thing, guys, is that you have to be constant. If you are not constant on what you're doing, you are not going to be successful. And this does not apply, and this not sorry, and this applies to all your careers, okay? You have to be content on everything that you do. Um, you know, the, for the beginning, as I mentioned minutes earlier, it's going to be difficult because you're not going to have too many viewers. You're going to have like one or two or your, your best friends, you know, watching you stream. But you don't have to give up, as I mentioned before. You have to be constant. You have to continue learning, you know, bring different stuff to your channel and things like that so you can attract more viewers. Um, you have to have a schedule just like a regular job, and this is very serious because you have to um, organize yourself, right? Um, if I'm going to stream, what days am I available to do this? So you can come up, for example, I can stream on Tuesdays and I can stream also on Thursdays for two hours, right? So on your social media, just like your Instagram, your Facebook, etc., you have to let your viewers know when you're going to stream so they are attentive to you and that way you create a public, right? because you are being constant and serious on the schedule that you promised them to stream. And after that, we got the copyright on songs. Remember that you cannot use whatever song that, you know, it's trendy at the moment. Because, you know, music has copyright. They have, you know, rights to the singers and, you know, to the people that made the music. And yeah, you cannot use them. Otherwise, your stream is going to be blocked. For example, the music that I'm using right now, hold on one second. This music that I'm using right now, I can use it freely because it's music that is not gonna have any problem just listen to it. Well, this music that I'm using is kind of an special music because this music was designed with no rights. It's a non-copyright music. So I can freely use it in my videos and nobody is gonna have a problem with me because that music doesn't have any rights. And after that, uh, you have to be very careful on what you are going to stream or you have to be attentive, let's say attentive to the famous games that are out there. If you go on Twitch, they give you like a list of the most played games so far. Another thing that is very relevant and important is that you have to respect the terms and conditions of the streaming platforms. If you're going to participate or stream on Twitch, you have to read their terms and conditions. If you're going to, uh, you know, work with Facebook, you you will also read their uh, their terms and conditions, so you won't have any problems with them. Another thing that is very important is that, that you have to be original with your content and also charismatic. And otherwise, you know, people are going to be bored people are going to start watching your stream for like five minutes, 10 minutes, then they're going to get bored and they're going to go on, you know, another social media. They just open TikTok or they just, you know, do something different and they just stop watching you. And that's something that you don't want to, you don't want them to do. Okay. So you have to catch the attention always from your viewers by being or original and also charismatic. Um, okay, another thing is that you have to connect and interact with your audience. 
When do you do that? Okay. For example, right now, um, I am taking a look to the chat and I can see that Gregory Nevado is watching me. And I'm going to say, hello, Gregory, how are you? Or Carlos Santiago, he says some good stuff. Okay. So you're, you're going to always, you know, participate and interact with the people that are you know, working with you, let's say, right, that are there with you, that are supporting you. So you have to uh, pay attention to the game, but do not forget the, pe the people that are on the chat, right? You have to always, you know, um, okay, let's talk about this. Hey, guys, what do you think about this? Um, did, you, did you see that I win? And things like that, okay? Another uh, things that you, I consider important are collaborations. You know, sometimes you can work with another person and, you know, pursuing the same idea, the same objectives, that is to catch followers. And so you work with another person, you collaborate, you do something together, you play a game together, and that way um, you guys are going to work as a team, you know, uh, getting viewers he gets or he or she gets viewers and i also get more viewers from that person and um, giveaways where is when you know when you do contest and you know i'm going to give away um ten dollars for example or twenty dollars or twenty five dollars to people for you know following you um sharing your uh your streams and things like that they are some just good ideas that you can apply. And finally, guys, you're going to need tons, but tons of effort and patient. You have to be very patient. You have to, you know, put love into it because it requires a lot of time. It requires a lot of effort. It requires a lot of patience. So um, that's basically what it is. And finally, have fun while working. It's, it's very fun, okay, if you, you know, play and also uh, find a way to make this a job. It will be very satisfactory because, you know, you are doing a, a thing that you like and you're also um, getting a benefit from it, which is, you know, a, a good salary. Okay, guys, so um, that is it. Um, you can find me at memosensei06 on Instagram. But, you know, that's it for the presentation because right now um, I'm going to play online for you. I'm go we're going to simulate that we were on a live stream from my channel. And if you want to follow me, you can find me on, again, on Facebook Gaming as Memo Sensei Games. You can find me there. And I, I also have an Instagram where you can find me, which is Memo Sensei 06 on Instagram. Now I'm going to ask you, do not leave, okay? Please do not leave because right now I'm going to play for around 20 minutes and just to complete the hour, 20 minutes or so. And you know, you're gonna watch me playing. Today, I'm going to play a game that is called Fall Guys. Uh, okay, let me show it to you for a second. I'm going to stop this streaming. No, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to pause it for a second. Um, I'm just going to go in remission. I'm just going to click be right back, but please do not leave, okay? Okay, so I'm switching to the game. Just give me one second. 
I'm going to remove this. And we're going to simulate like if we were on a on a stream, okay? So this is me right here. I always appear on a side of the screen. And give me just one second. Because the game is loading. Remember, always interact with your with your audience. How are you guys? Okay, so the game is loading right now. And I expect we don't have any problems with this. Okay. There, I'm preparing everything for... Okay, the game already load. All right, Luis, thank you for that. Okay, hold on. Specific window and full guys. Okay, currently I'm kind of having a problem here. The game one one display on the screen. Just give me one second. Do not leave, do not leave. Okay, let me go Windows Capture. Alright, hold on one second guys. Remember this is online, so we're gonna be exposed to, you know, errors, you know, things like this. Okay, there. I'm going to increment this. Okay. Well, and we're online. I'm just gonna hold on. Just gonna move this away from this. Okay, there. Now you can see me. Hello. You can see me now. You can also see the game. And we're going to simulate that we are playing online. And let me lower this. Remember that you have to also adjust the volume and everything. This game is called Fall Guys. Did you know it? Have you played it before? Right now what we're doing is that we are, you know, we are going through a game. And we're about to play, guys. So you guys are going to play with me. Right now we're online. <laughs> Let me tell you that it has been a long time that I don't play because I've been busy at work so maybe I'm not gonna be the best player but right now I'm gonna try my best I'm gonna try my best and hopefully we're gonna win and hopefully we're gonna pass at least the first round okay so this game is basically a game where you have to go through a map or something like that, you know, a level that is, you know, filled with traps and things like that. Okay, there we are playing. All right. Okay, so the idea is that you have to classify on every single round. There are different rounds, there are different rounds that you have to go through. And right now we are like, you know, holding the first or the third position, something like that. Okay, right now we're doing so good <laughs> that I can even, <laughs> that I can even know right now. Okay, there is the, the three of us. Okay, I just got hit by a ball, but 
nothing happens and we classify and we classify on the first round at least we beat it yes perfect okay some of my students are telling me that they are not able to okay somebody's asking me the specs of my pc okay let me lower the volume a little bit here okay the specs of my pc i have a ryzen processor 7 i also have um 16 gigabytes of ram and i have a video card which is the 1060 of six gig six gigabytes okay i'm gonna rise in seven 16 gigabytes of ram and a 1060 six gigabytes video card thank you for your question that was very you know interesting for you to ask me that Okay, guys, let's go for the second round. I know that we're going to win this online. Hopefully, we're going to do it. And I have played this game a lot of times, but it has been a long time since I don't play. So let's do it, okay? Let's just surprise each other. Okay, there, I got that. The idea of this level is that you have to go through those, you know, holes oh my god don't fall don't fall oh my god okay there we got one point so far two points okay i didn't got that one there we passed got back a little bit Oh my god, I fall. I fail, I fail, I fail. Okay, there you go. Come on, guys, come on. Three people have classified already. All right, there you go. We can do this, we can do this. All right, let's go for this one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There, okay. Nice. Oh, did I, he counted like another one. <laughs> go, go in, go in. Yes, 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 we got it. Okay, I'm gonna hit that one. Oh my God, I got eight points so far. I still have time. Not that many people have classified already. So I still have time. Okay, there, there. I forgot that I had that movement. Oh my god, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. All right, there. There, okay. No, no, no. Oh my god. Guys, we are three rings away from the victory. Well, two. And one, only one. I think I'm going to hit that one in the middle. Let's go, let's go let's go all right as you can see this is a very funny game that i would like to recommend you uh, to stream it's a good game to stream because it's a very popular game and they made it free in, like some months ago they made it free so everybody can play it it's free there is also there is also a version for um for cell phones that is called istanbul guys let's say that this is the original version and that one is um you know the cell phone version some people say the poor version i don't want to call it like that but you know it's another version that you can play on you know on cell phones
Okay, everything seems fine right now. We're just waiting for the others to classify. There is only one person that is going to classify and that person did it right now. Okay, the game is in Spanish. I forgot to set it in English, my bad. Uh, it could it could be cool if I could you know put it in Spanish in English but right now the game is already on so I cannot switch it guys let me ask you do you have another question for me you know there is I have like a some time between round and round where I can play your where I can answer your questions Okay, let's play, let's play. The idea here is that I'm, I'm not gonna fall. Okay, I survived. I didn't do much, but I survived. <laughs> Okay, so there are 16 people left and I still, you know, I'm still alive. Nothing has happened to me so far. And we're going to win. We're going to win. Well, I have win three rounds already, so I feel a winner right now. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Guys, if you have any questions, remember to, you know, put them on the chat. I'm going to answer them as soon as I see them. Oh, my God. Well, the idea here is to follow a path that everybody is going to do when you hit these steps it's kind of funny because nobody wants to you know wants to jump out but everybody wants to cross oh my god go 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 yes it's really difficult it's really difficult because everybody wants to you know cross the line okay either says here that he got his nintendo switch okay i also have one maybe we can you know change games switch games whenever you want to I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take my Nintendo Switch with me tomorrow for for you to see it. Okay, this is the last round, guys. This is the last round. I don't promise I'm gonna win, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay. So basically, the floor is going to move and move and move and move. There will be different traps and things like that and you have to stay alive as much as you can you don't know how nervous i am right now because you know this is the final round i am live right now for euro centers so i'm super nervous but let's do our best One person has died already.
Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost died there. My heart is beating so fast right now. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Okay, we got like the third place, something like that. But as you can see, this game is so much fun that I would like to recommend it to you. Maybe tomorrow, if I got a chance to play this game tomorrow, maybe we can try it again. Look, these are the last two. I got like the third or fourth place, if I am not mistaken. But it was a shame that I lost. Okay, did I not, do I get the place? No, I don't think so. Okay, so we are about to finish. Okay, it went very well, more than expected. I got like the third or the fourth place. The idea was to win online, but well, it was not today. Maybe we can do it some later time. Um, okay, I'm always uh, happy that you're here uh, with me. I really wish uh, you have an excellent day. And thank you so much for Eurocenters for inviting me to make this presentation about uh, becoming an online streamer. It was a pleasure for me uh, to do this presentation with you guys. We're going to see each other tomorrow there at Puerta de Oro, tomorrow, uh, 2 p.m. or, you know, a little bit, uh, 2 or 2.30 p.m. or 3 I don't know right now, uh, but um, we're going to be there for you guys. I'm going to explain to you. We're going to play some games together. So the invitation is that you go tomorrow so we can continue playing this and more games that I'm going to bring. Uh, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for being here. And see you next time. Don't forget to follow me on my you know, social account. On my Facebook, There is uh, that is Memo Sensei. Uh, on Facebook Gaming, Memo Sensei 06 on Instagram. Uh, you know, please follow the social media from Eurocenters. And they are amazing. You know, they are amazing, an amazing company to teach you English. And see you tomorrow, guys. Uh, God bless you. Bye bye.